this is the post accountability era where we now have in precedent that we don't hold Donald Trump accountable for basically anything. So anything Donald Trump did is fine to do. And Democrats are probably not going to go down that route of, re of using Donald Trump as precedent for their actions. But Republicans definitely will in the future. And I'm afraid the next time they do, it's going to destroy America entirely. Not to be bleak about it or anything. <laughs> no, does anyone want to... I, I, I do those things where I like go into rants and then just like stop. But uh, <laughs> does anyone want to... Uh, kind of chime in on like their feelings on the impeachment process and like, oh, the results. Yeah, Sean, let's get in there. Um, so the whole impeachment thing, first off, it's crazy to oh, like obviously when the whole insurrection and stuff was going down, um, it was crazy to see all of the uh, Republican voters and stuff turn on uh, turn on Pence like on a dime and all of that. And now to see all of the evidence of Trump going into it about going into Pence, I go, wow, there's no loyalty there. Damn. Dog eat dog world. For Sicking that. the mob um, on Pence but, while the mob was moving is like specifically what you're describing. Yeah, exactly. that's, in, that's the vice on your own vice president out of the context of American history. That's insane. Right? Yeah, it's men. It's mental. Um, it, it's for all of the for the history of the United States, I mean, there's always been a bunch of presidential scandals. I mean, you have um, stuff with Clinton, you have stuff with Nixon and all the other stuff. But this really overshadow, overshadows a bunch of that, in my opinion, because it's it's an attack on, on U.S. soil. It's an attack on the institutions of America that the last time it was attacked was the English trying to burn it down in, you know, 1812. So... Um, yeah, it's it, it's a shame that obviously he didn't get impeached. Now you can kind of move on from it, I guess, because it's one of those things that now you, there's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Um, and now it's to try and keep more people in government accountable, trying to do as much as we can to vote people out, to do the things that we can do individually to keep these people accountable. And I'm seeing more and more stuff of like the people at the insurrection and stuff getting. Um, uh, into jail or getting questioned and all that there's like a whole twitter feed of that so it's nice to see some of that go on going on but now it's there's also obviously a history of, of um unac unaccountability i don't know what the english word is for that but the hey shut up bam <laughs> of um all the stuff that's gone on and i want more of that in our government um more things to be put in place to to keep presidents accountable, to keep people in government accountable for all of that. So um, we can move forward now and try and move past it, but never forget and never leave all of that stuff necessarily behind. But yeah, those are my two cents. Still, I'm very pissed about it. Um, can I go? No. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Trump is still saying he won the election. He was having some. Uh, he was he was eulogizing. He was eulogizing uh, Dan's favorite media personality, Rush Limbaugh, <laughs> and he was still saying that he won the election and that he was cheated and it was stolen and everybody knows that. Uh, <laughs> Dan's pouring some out for Rush, um, and and it's it sucks because it's going to be something that like we're we're never going to stop hearing that he's never gonna he's never going to admit defeat <laughs> like. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't live past tomorrow, but if he lives another few years and past 2024, if I don't know if he's going to run or not, but he's still going to be saying that and that that narrative is going to continue to be out there. No matter if every single other person in the world is saying like, yeah, dude, you lost, get over it. He's still going to be saying that. Um, and going back to the impeachment, I don't think any of us expected him to, to the Senate to convict, but Mitch McConnell um, was saying afterwards that Trump may have not been like impeachable for his actions, but he but he may have committed crimes that can be convicted in a criminal court. He said that on the record. So hopefully if he if Trump is tried for in criminal courts, they call Mitch McConnell's next for uh, to be a witness. Because you were there. Hopefully they call him to come sit on that uh, witness stand like Takashi and point fingers. I want to see Mitch McConnell pointing people out. 
Because he said it, yeah, you know, he th- th- and that was kind of like the moment people kind of get wanted to like give Mitch some credit, like you know he, he and and you know maybe somewhat to his credit he he took a bold stance even by saying that he didn't have to say that, no. but get up on that stand then, homie. I mean, he he showed a lot a lot of backbone that that entire party wasn't showing for a long time. So not saying Mitch is a good dude, but I was like, all right, well. You got some uh, character, I guess, uh, that's standing, not letting just Trump run over you like the, he does. He's done with the whole party the last four years. Um, and it, I just think to me, it's like when when Dan was talking about the whole Pence thing, like historically, it's shocking. But like where we are now, it's like almost not because when the minute we it, it already started getting weird when he was pretending like Pence had mega powers. To give him like presidency, like he had some kind of uh, hidden key we didn't know about, or some kind of Easter egg he picked up on the way that could give him presidency automatically. Um, and then Pence is like, uh, like, what are you like? Is this a way of you kind of blaming me? For, like, are you trying to like put the pressure on me now? I don't know what's going on here. Like, because I'm not doing that, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was just it was awkward for like, like even that party. I even think the Republican Party was probably thinking that was a very awkward moment. They're like, uh. Are we supposed to ride with this too? Like, you know, it. We went this far, like you know. So, it's 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 only to be expected. That of course, when Trump comes out with his super awesome uh, Amazon book or whatever, when he writes one day about this, this his glorious win that never happened, he's probably gonna have a whole chapter just dissing Mike Pence in there, and then we're all gonna be here for it. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm just kind of agreeing with Bam. I just it, it would be kind of cool if they had like the hearing set up and then. We get to be, see Trump be smug the whole time, and in, in comes a uh, surprise witness, right to the stand. Here comes Mitch McConnell, you know, like walking through, like, "Oh, it's about to get good now." <laughs> C-SPAN, change the cameras. Let's get that good angle right now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Trump to catch Mitch McConnell outside, like Takashi did with, with Meek Mill the other week. I'm waiting for that, <laughs> and I want that shit on World Star. Nah, Mitch McConnell got real security on like Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Connell's one of the most hated people in this country. He's definitely got top security going. <laughs> I think one of the things that I, well, a lot of people didn't like what Mitch McConnell had to say because he said all of it, but he still voted to save him, right? And a lot of these votes and things like that, it's all a numbers game, right? So they needed two thirds of the Senate to vote. They didn't have the numbers. They knew they weren't going to get that many Republicans to flip on the other side of the aisle. So what you had now was a situation where the majority of senators voted to um, prevent him, to bar him from ever running from office again. But the majority still wasn't enough. They still lost that, that election. So somebody like Mitch McConnell now, he can come out and say whatever he wants, but his voting record still reflects that he voted to save Donald Trump. He still voted with Donald that Trump. Part. And at the end of the day, that's what people see. That's what people remember. And that's what matters. You know, he can say whatever he wants. It doesn't matter. If he testifies against Trump later in court, that'll be something I'm not holding my breath for it, but mm, it won't be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's like a, a, a nice thought experiment for the idea of Mitch McConnell having to in like a season seven of Game of Thrones kind of way, like backstab uh, Donald Trump himself. But like, again, I don't think that's going to happen. I I think it's more likely that one of them dies beforehand. (laughs) I mean, it's also crazy just like, I I can't even imagine what's on Mike Pence's mind. Like, these people were going to kill him, dude. Like, they were actually going to murder him if they caught him. And... Trump was egging them on. I I can't even hold that. Like, I can't hold that for one second. I can't imagine that. I mean, I just looked on Mike Pence's Twitter. I was like, well, maybe he's like not even active anymore. And he's kind of just like out of the public. But, you know, he's talking about uh, NASA, Mars landing, uh, whatever he's talking about and Breitbart articles. But to Breitbart. have, I mean... I feel like most of the energy of that mob on this on January 6th was, you know, it's, it's going to a lot's going to be for Nancy Pelosi, but so much of it was for Mike Pence. And, you know, there's they're screaming, hang Mike Pence, dude, like they were going to kill him. And then we saw the footage like he wasn't that far away. If I don't know if that was the door that they were trying to kick open. I can't remember. But like they were going to mur- like the Trump supporters. We're going to murder you. 
And Trump at no point in time was like, hey, you know, do your thing, but leave my buddy Mike alone. <laughs> like, you know? Hey, take care of your, of it, but watch, like, don't touch nothing. Mike, though. Like, he's putting the pressure on Mike Pence, and these people are going to kill him. But, I mean, are we surprised that we already talked about, like, you know, uh, his his morals as a human in terms of even being a businessman? Like, of course, when the going gets tough, it's not, let me go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh just dip down and work harder. It's hmm, who can, who can I start throwing this off my shoulder a little bit on? Who can I, who can I let carry some of this weight all other than me? Oh, Mike Pence. Mm, okay. Why don't I just make, give him magical powers that don't exist. That ought to kind of dissuade a little bit of this and I can continue my campaign. Uh, what the election was four months ago. I still talk about how I won and I broke a record, even though I lost by like 10 million, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, we're, we're still, we're still here. We won. We won. <laughs> but I'm just thinking about Mike Pence. Like not, not that I like care about him much as a person or have the same politics as him. Obviously not. And uh, let me, let me leave that part out. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just can't even imagine how he feels like, they were gonna kill him, dude. Like you're like you're you're in your place of work. These people invade, and like your boss is like egging them on. And if they would have got their hands on, they would have ripped them apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did how does he not take that personally that his own senators, like he ran that Senate for four years, you know, and they voted, they didn't they didn't care that he could have died. Even Mitt Romney, you know, how does he not take that personally? I think for me, if I was Mike Pence, that's what would piss me off more than more than Trump, because with Trump, you know, I think even Mike Pence knows not to expect more from Trump than what he got. But I think the part that would bother me more is all these senators like these people are trying to kill me. I ran the Senate for four years with all of you. You know, these are my buddies and you guys still wouldn't do it. So Insane. if I was Mike Pence, I would just drop out of politics or maybe that's mm. just wishful thinking on my own part. <laughs> Can't tell.